All right, socialism versus capitalism. Oh, God damn. I, I really opened a can of worms here. People, I don't even know. I couldn't give you a definition of either one. Hey, Andrew, can you please get Bill to read this? I've been writing to Bill for a couple of, for a couple of times before. It would be so grateful if you get this to him. Thank you very much. All right. Dude, I got to already say, you are suspect that you, you, you're an adult and you wrote a sentence. I've been writing to Bill for a couple of times before. All right. Hey, Billy. Hey, Bill. Pasty fuck dangle balls redhead, redhead cunt. Burr. I'm going to keep this short because I know how hard it is to read out loud for you. Yeah, it's about as hard for you to write a fucking sentence. Um, I am a fellow Liverpool fan from Tunisia living in the Netherlands. Ah, fuck, it's his second language. My apologies. You are smarter than me. God damn it. I thought for once I wasn't going to be the dummy. Anyway, um, I don't get why Americans only believe in extremes. Oh, shut the fuck up. I don't know why you dumb cunts, if you want to give us constructive criticism, why you would open it with a statement like that. You just put me on the defensive. Oh, have you figured it out? Have you figured it all out in the Netherlands? I've been there with the illegal drugs there and fucking all of these guys with f itching their fucking heroin scabs on their neck trying to sell you a stolen bicycle. That's not an extreme. Do whatever the fuck you want here in Holland. I guess it's just in um, Amsterdam. Anyway, either socialism or capitalism, nothing else. The ideal, in my, in my opinion, the ideal, in my opinion, system is actually a mix between the two. God damn it, this already sounds interesting. A country with capital with capitalist economy, but also the same time social policies like nationwide health care and affordable universities. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's like, hey, what if you just did heroin once a month and you didn't get addicted to it? Um, anyway, countries which are successful with this. The Netherlands, where I live. Oh, you pat yourself on the back. Finland, Norway, Denmark. All right, I want people who aren't white from the Netherlands, Finland, Norway, and Denmark to write in to me, and I want to know if this guy's version, because I'm assuming this person is a white dude, and that, that this is, in fact, the equal opportunity, closest thing to perfect that it can be. Uh, I will tell you this. Uh, one of the biggest cunts I ever met was in Denmark, this taxi driver. I forget what he said, but he turned around at the end of the ride because you Americans are so stupid, huh? And I, oh my God, I fucking, I almost punched that guy in the fucking head. I was so fucking, he was such a fucking bitch too. One of those fucking, you know, six foot four, 130 pound fucking European guys. Fold like a fucking lawn chair, as they say on crime stories. I stayed in that cab. My wife was trying to drag me out. And I fucking just sat <laughs> there trash. Oh, yeah, you're so smart. You drive a fucking cab. And he's like, oh, oh, he's put his fucking bitchy hands up. Who's kidding? Who? I didn't almost punch him in the face. I was just fucking mad, and I yelled at him. That was the real thing. I wanted to punch him in the face. All right, but I was afraid because I watched fucking, uh, what is that guy? We had the drugs typed to, uh, taped to the inside of his leg, and he fucking goes to jail. Or the fuck is the name of that movie, which I will never watch again. It was so fucking terrifying. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to go to jail, but he was a big fucking, he had a big mouth and he was a big bitch. Um, anyway, yes, it will lead to higher tax rate, but also you see where that tax goes and you won't have to sell your house in order to pay for your hospital bill. All right. So you're telling me in your country that there's nobody abusing their position of power and, uh, you know, there's no filthy stinking rich person there. Or are you saying there are some, but not as many and it's spread out better. I don't know. I understand why this can't work in the U.S. because like what Dave Chappelle said on Ro Rogan, to rephrase, higher tax rate works in countries where the people trust their government. Also, U.S. is controlled by corporations. Um, I kind of believe that all of the countries at this point are controlled by corporations unless you have a dictator. Uh, am I crazy thinking that? I do like how you guys are rejecting our food. <laughs> all you had to do was look at us to know you didn't want to put that shit in your body um all right once again every other country seems to be better than this one and they've evidently solved all their problems anyways side question i'm a 20 i am 29 years old and i would like to start playing drums is it too late for me no because you're probably still in college because you don't have to fucking pay for it like those 
fucking college student lifers I met when I was in Finland. Um, no, it's never too late. It's never too late. It is so much fucking fun. It is so much fun. Um, if you live in a place where um, noise is going to be an issue, I recommend buying the V drums, the electronic kit, if you can afford that, or a used kit. If you can't, um, and I also recommend um, looking in and learning all about hearing loss and, and uh, tinnitus, or however the fuck you say that word, and get yourself those Vic Firth headphones and really, really be careful with your ears. All right? Also, he said, you're doing great learning French. I speak French, and you are doing great. I'm currently learning Dutch, and I know how hard it is to learn a new language. Well, I had to set that aside because I have to, like, I only have so much space in my brain where I'm going to pick it back up when I'm on the other side of this fucking instrument thing. Uh, P.S., thank you for the podcast. It helped me through some tough times and for being open about the shit you were dealing with. It helped me realize certain things about myself. Look at me. I'm like a fucking bald, freckled male Oprah. Go fuck yourself, you cunt. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for the input, and I'm happy uh, your life is better. It's doing better. Um, girlfriend of three years caught cheating. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Dear Bill Burr. Oh, wow. This guy's in such a fucking bad place right now. He didn't even trash me. Um, I just found out my girlfriend, the love of my life of three years, has cheated. Here's how I found out. She went out to get drinks one night at 6 p.m., and came back home at 10 p.m. and proceeded to cuddle with me in bed. The next day, she is at work, and I am on my day off at home. Her iPad is linked to her iPhone. Whoops. When she gets a text message on her phone, it pops up on the iPad at home. She got a message from some guy, and it read, Hope the dick helped last night. Oh, God. I confronted her about it, and she couldn't give me a straight answer. I decided to leave the house and stay with the family member for the weekend. Once I came back to talk to her face to face with her, she admits to having sex with the same guy twice. She also said the night she was out drinking, the guy suggested they go to his car and initiated to have sex. I've also caught her texting another guy about how deep she can go, implying she can suck long dick and how much dick she can take. Oh, boy. Uh, we have been through a lot together, <laughs> from meeting each other's families to being there for each other when a loved one has passed away, even to saying I love you every day. My family loves her, and her family loves me. I don't get why she would do this after all this time. I really love her, but want to teach her a lesson. Any advice is helpful. Yeah, dude, you got to get out of it. It's over. Um, you shouldn't want to teach her a lesson. You shouldn't want to do anything vindictive to her. What you should want to do is go out and meet a person that's going to love you the way that you're going to love them. It's not going to do that to you. That's it. I'm sorry you're going through that. Um, yeah, uh, but you have to, you got you to gotta leave that one because that's going to be, you know, it happened. It's going to happen again. So I hate to be the guy to tell you that, but. Um, the good news is you could have been married with kids and then find found that out, and then you, you, you'd be linked to this person for the rest of your life because you have kids together. So you can get away clean. I would suggest going to therapy. Uh, I would suggest crying about it. I would, exp I would suggest talking about it to other friends, and I would suggest giving yourself all the time you need to get over it and really get over it before you try to meet somebody else. And... Um, it is what it is. It sucks. It happens. Uh, but like I said, the upside is you didn't find out, you know, after you were married with kids. All right. That was kind of a bummer. Uh, you know, what's funny, that expression over here. I heard in England that means if somebody fucking banged you in the ass, which make a bummer makes <laughs> or a hey, man, I'm bummed means that that's what it is, which makes way more fucking sense. Because I've never understood that whole thing. Like, oh, I was a bummer. I'm like, what does your ass have to do with something being, you know? Bad. Well, I guess if somebody banged you in the ass, unless you wanted it, it would be a... Wait, let's see here. Bummed. English slang. Definition of bum is slang for feeling upset. No, no, in England. Isn't it in England? It's something different. Maybe it was a different country. The word is funny because it means something different in the U.S. and in the U.K. In the U.S., to be bummed or bummed out, it means to be sad or depressed. Oh, fuck. Did I... They click on the right one. 
In the UK, to be bums means a man has sex with you by putting his penis in your hands. <laughs> there you go. And we can end on that. We ended on a laugh. All right, that's it. Uh, right, he got fucking bummed by his best mate. A uh, couple of cunts stuck together. All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. I'll check in on you on, uh, on Thursday. All right, that's it.